Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm with the University of Ottawa Laboratory for Paleoclimatology. In this video, I'm going to examine uh, methane in the Arctic. Okay, there's methane coming up from the Arctic as the Arctic is warming. And in particular, um, I'm gonna focus on an area near a Russian island called Novaya Zemla. It's on the border between the Barents Sea and the Kara Sea. So this is my Facebook page. So Harold Hensel shared a post on my timeline uh, earlier today. And uh, basically just discovered a polar view of methane emissions that is available on the new Copernicus Atmospheric Monitoring Service. So this is a European satellite like we haven't had a, an easily accessible polar view since Omar Cabrera quit operating his methane tracker. So there's a link here on my Facebook page that you can find. And this is, so this is a polar view of the, of the Arctic. Now I'll have the links and all of this stuff on my blog, my next blog posting, um, which probably, which won't happen tonight. I don't think it probably tomorrow, Saturday, but, uh, so this is my uh, this is my latest posting. I was talking about ever greater risk to nuclear power plants from extreme weather events because we just passed the 32 year anniversary of Chernobyl. So, and like again, please uh, support these videos um, and uh, my website. Um, and if you want to, uh, you can easily donate with PayPal or set up a few bucks on a monthly basis. Um, so let's get right into it. So. This is Copernicus, Europe's Eyes on Earth, Atmospheric Monitoring Service. Okay, there's all kinds of different information here. Um, it's well worth having a look at uh, what they offer. Now, I'm gonna go right into the methane image. So what I've done is I've set up a movie here, which is playing. So this is methane at the surface in parts per billion, provided by CAMS, the Copernic Copernicus Atmospheric Monitoring Service, CAMS. So the, 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 the video, the, the animation starts on April 26, and it goes through, um, it goes through every three hours, you get a new image, and it takes us up to the 30th, okay? So this is a level of methane in parts per billion, and the maximum on this view is 2320 parts per billion. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the keyboard and hit Control Plus to expand the view. So let's, now let's bring it in, let's center it here. Okay, I'll expand it here so you can't see what the values are, but this is a, these are the values of the scale. Okay, so the reds are 1900 plus. Um, the highest value is 2320. This is, so this is 1860, 1880, 1880, 1900, 1920. Okay, so that's the range here. Um, and the highest is up to 2320. So let's have a look. Here we go. Here's our, so here's our tracking here. Okay, so I want you to focus on two regions here. So this is Novaya Zemla here, an island off of Russia in the Arctic Ocean. The sea ice right now extend is coming up here and it's coming up in this region. So I want you to focus, look at these point sources here. It appears, okay, so this is, it just reset. So you, what you can see is it appears that there's a sources of methane around this island. Novaya Zemla. So you can see something here. So it's going through the day. So there's a source which um, on the 26th, okay, so there it reset, okay? So the 26th of April, the 27th of April, 28th of April, and then it fades a bit. Okay, so focus on that. So what is causing that methane release, large methane release here. Um, there's obviously lots of methane release on land from human activity. Uh, fracking has greatly increased the um, natural gas release. Natural gas is uh, 
over 90% of natural gas is, is methane. There's some CO2 in it. There's some other things in it. They, they seed it with um, uh, ammonia to give it this rotten or, or sulfur dioxide, sulfur compounds to give it, I guess, uh, maybe it's hydrogen sulfide. They put a little bit of that in. I don't know. They seed it with something to give it this smell because natural gas itself, methane doesn't smell. And if you have a leak in your house, you obviously want to know um, to evacuate. So they, for safety reasons, they seed it. But you can see, so this is just recycling um, from beginning of 26th of April going out, this is every three hours it's cycling and it's going through to the 30th of, of April, even May 1st. Okay, so what? So you can see these point sources. So they're not being blown over from the land, they're actually coming up. So where is the ice exactly? So first of all, before I show you the ice, what is the sun doing, okay, in the Arctic? So I went to, um, look at the UV index. So this is the UV index. Okay, it expanded this as well. So what you see here is, obviously you need the sun in order to get UV light, right? UV light is, is part of the solar spectrum. <coughs> so again, this is cycling through every three hours. So we get a complete orbit. Don't forget we're looking down on the North Pole. Okay, so the Earth is rotating, the Sun is fixed, right? The Earth is rotating, and as the Earth rotates, you get the solar illumination, and it's getting up there now because it's, um, you know, we're heading into the Arctic summer, we're heading into the Northern Hemisphere summer, um, so the extent of the, that the light reaches, um, it's, it's reaching this region right now, basically, is what I'm trying to say. That's about the northern extent here, if you look. Okay, you can see how it's completely encapsulating the island and covering this region. Okay, um, when is it happening? We can go down to here, and this is the date. So, it's happening about, this is th three hours, so this is Friday the 27th of April, at three in the morning, six in the morning, nine in the morning, etc. And you can see at about nine, it comes up, and then it only lasts for like it's okay so let's have a look okay it hits it now and you can see where it hits it and the sun is up covering that region there's uv exposure for a few hours not that many maybe uh let's see it hits it now one two so about a cycle about three or four hours of sun exposure on that island at the moment okay so that's affecting things that's warming it up but there's a lot of warming obviously from the ocean water. Methane will be in the sediments on the seafloor. Water is fairly shallow in that region. Uh, so depend depending on <coughs> ocean currents and how much heat from the ocean is going into the sediments, that's where the methane would be coming up. Now I should point out that um, this region, I'll, I'll include a map in, in my blog um, of where, where things are, but the Yamal Peninsula is in this region. If you remember the Yamal Peninsula, that's where the large um, craters have been popping up. Uh, large craters, high methane at the bottom. So it's, thing, it's, it's like the, thermo, the permafrost, the talics deep down are thawing out. We're getting, so the methane clathrates that are buried underneath are melting, thawing. The ice lattice around the methane molecule is is uh, melting, so the gas is released. There's an expansion of about 160 times. That happens over a region under the ground. It builds up the pressure, and then it blows a plug of soil out. It creates this large crater, and you've probably heard about these methane craters, um, and uh, they're happening right up here in this peninsula too. So let's have a look, you know, so what happens throughout the the year in that region in terms of the sea ice. So want to know about, the, so first of all, Earth Null School, um, we're looking at ocean sea surface temperature. And what you can see is you can see a distinct line here. Okay, so where you see the shimmering here, the, um, so this is the, uh, you know, the waves and the currents, the direction of the flow of the water. 
um, and there's nothing here. So this area, the ice is covering this area right here, obviously. This is open water where, where you see the lines and this is the sea ice. Okay, um, what are the winds doing? Okay, well this is on the 26th, uh, April 26th at two local time. Uh, let's go to UTC time, we just click on this. So six UTC time, and we can come down here and you'll notice, I'm, I wanna go UTC to compare it to the Copernicus data. And what we're looking at is the surface winds. So the methane that is generated here will end up being carried by these surface winds. So, you know, you can just cycle through here in three hour increments and look at the way. So if we're getting methane generated here and here, you can see where it'll be heading. And the point is, is it's not coming from the land. It's generated here and it's moving out. Okay. And back in here, we see these, like we see the point sources here, right? This is obviously not being blown from the land. I just wanted to emphasize that. Okay, now Arctic sea ice graphs. Okay, we can go down, just Google Arctic sea ice graphs and we can go down and we can look at the ice speed and drift data. And I've, I've, I've clicked, done that, clicked on there. And this is the concentration. Um, so this is the sea ice concentration. And this is, uh, the red is 100% sea ice. So it's basically compressed sea ice. There's not a lot of gaps or openings in the ice. Okay, and this is the extent of the ice here in this particular region, Novaya Zemla. Um, and if we look at the, this is the sea ice thickness. So this is the purple and the blues is um, very, very thin ice up to this. You can look at the scale here. I'll just slide over and I'll slide up here. So zero to about a meter, 1.25 meters is blue, but the purple is, you know, up to about three quarters of a meter or so. Okay, so we'll just come back up to that region. So no, water, very, very thin ice, about three quarters of a meter. The blues, you're starting getting into, you know, about a meter. 1.5 meters at the most. Okay, so this is where the sea ice is. Now, I played a movie of the motion of the ice in this region, um, expanded, I'll just back it off. Uh, I'll just, uh, here we go here. Okay, and this is played over the last month, basically. And what you can see is, is there's open water here. Okay, there's open water here for, in fact, most of the time, but certainly, you know, in the spring melting, this is all open water. There's ice there. The, the, the motion is in centimeters per second. The red is faster. The arrows, you can see the arrows, which is the direction. I can back off a little bit on the scale so you can see what's going on here. Bigger picture. Okay, so the ice is, um, and I could actually um, back off here. Let's do, um, this is sea ice, this is speed and drift. We could go uh, the last 12 months. Okay, let's, so let's have a look at the last 12 months in this region. Okay, so what you can see is this is open water here. Okay, so it never freezes. Okay, so this means that the water temperature here is you know, even in the middle of the winter, right? It's above that minus 1.8 degrees C where the, where the uh, salt water will freeze. Okay, so it never freezes here. Okay, so the point is, is that, you know, we've got a very good methane tool um, for looking at all parts of the world from the satellite data. This is methane at the surface coming up and we can see what's starting to happen here. So this is an ongoing, you know, I'll be talking about methane a lot in the next number of videos or, you know, over time because it's very important. Very, very important. Thank you.